Close to 6,000 people filled out a survey with their thoughts about short-term rentals, which includes Airbnbs. Now, at this point, the county is not releasing what people said in those surveys, but we are hearing from some of you on social media. One person said neighborhoods are not hotels and casinos have security to control their guests. Another person said some low-income folks might need a temporary place to stay. County officials say a measure passed by the legislature and signed by the governor says a short-term rental can't have more than 16 people and want to know more about that. But should we reduce that further? Should it be based on the number of rooms? Uh, should we require safety inspections before people are allowed to rent these out? So still a lot of unanswered questions and the county says keep the feedback coming. The surveys are now closed, but there are still plenty of chances to have a say, including sending an email and virtual town halls. One is tomorrow night at 530 and we have all the information on how to participate when and where on our website. That is Fox5Vegas.com. Back to you. All right, Joe, thank you. And if you're curious, new research ranks Las Vegas as the top city in the world to earn as a short term rental host, making a whopping 555 percent more than private landlords. The average Las Vegas Airbnb host makes over ten thousand dollars a month. At the same time, the average rent in Las Vegas is about sixteen hundred, which means the short term rental is making nearly nine thousand dollars more every single month. After Vegas, Honolulu ranks second, followed by Miami and Orlando.